What's up guys and gals, it is I, once again, Yusuf Al Senad, and today guys and gals, this is the first episode of a new series, yours truly is very excited to share with you guys and gals, and this episode, the first episode of this new series will be revolved around the manga of the same name, the manga which Kentaro Miura or Miura Kentaro has wrote, the very same manga which later was adapted into an anime series, a live action anime series both in film and television and a manga which was also made into a video game franchise on the Dreamcast, the PS2 and of course the PS4 and that manga guys and gals by Miura Kentaro is none other than his masterpiece and my favorite of his work, the absolute best manga and anime series ever made and that manga guys and gals by Miura Kentaro is none other than Burusaru otherwise known as Berserk. Berserk, guys and gals, is a masterpiece in storytelling and character development, action, drama, and the sense of dread and darkness and grim nature of this world, the world which Kentaro Miura has created, and that world is Berserk, a medieval setting, and this world, guys and gals, is as fascinating as it is scary. In this world, right and wrong is very blurred. No one is absolutely absolutely right and no one is absolutely wrong in this world because that line guys and gals that line of morality is very blurred and not exactly as we expect it to be as most established stories about good versus evil berserk guys and gals is very good at doing that basically blurring the line between good and bad and this world is so great and fascinating and the topic of this episode will be focused on the similarity between Guts and Jill from the Lost Children chapter of the manga of the Conviction story arc of the manga and this tale guys and gals between Guts and Jill is so tragic yet so uplifting at the same time because these two guys and gals are very similar in many ways both have grown up with abusive parents in the case with Guts it was Gambino his father figure or guardian and Jill who was basically abused by her father her father who was a scumbag and a drunk who beat up both Jill and her mother and of course guys and gals Guts and Jill have survived for so long as strugglers Guts and Jill are survivors and strugglers of their battlefields their battlefields which is their lives and these two guys and gals these two survivors and strugglers Guts and Jill have personal and intimate relationships with people who are dear to their hearts for Guts Guts, guys, and gals, it was Griffith, and for Jill, it was Rosine, the apostle, the female apostle of the lost children chapter of the manga, the story chapter of the manga, the conviction story arc of the manga, and these two Guts and Griffith guys and gals were so close, just as Jill and Rosine were so close, both of them guys and gals, Griffith and Rosine have become apostles because of their own selfish desires, Griffith wanted to become king king of his own kingdom and for Rosine she wanted to escape from the harsh and cruel life she had lived. Rosine just like Jill had suffered abuse and torment at the hands of her parents and because of this guys and gals Rosine had lost all hope in humanity because humanity is dark and grim and so evil. People are evil and people guys and gals who abuse children are evil and this tale guys and gals was dark and was grim but these two Guts and Jill upon first meeting each other Jill did not like Guts one bit until Jill would become very fond of and close with Guts and would look up to Guts as a role model and someone she is inspired by very inspired by and wants to become like and wants to journey with him on his journey in the quest he goes on or embarks on Jill guys and gals does beg Guts to take her with him on his journey but Guts guys and gals refuses because he warns her about the hardship and nightmare she will endure on his journey because Guts guys and gals tells her that wherever he goes spirits follow him demons and spirits which intend to follow him wherever he goes and will haunt him for the rest of his life that guys and gals is the curse which has been placed on Guts hence the brand of sacrifice which is behind his neck right here 
later and Guts guys and gals, Guts has warned Jill about this fate, about the fact that he is cursed with this fate, a fate which he will continue to battle and struggle against and that guys and gals is what he chose to do, struggle against his fate damn right and Guts guys and gals teaches Jill this about how she must fight and struggle and battle against her own demons and survive her own wars, her own battles in the battlefield that is her life, very much like Guts in that regard and Guts guys and gals leaves Jill with that knowledge and that word of wisdom and allows her to grow up and to become her own woman, a strong woman who she can count on herself and no one but herself which is the exact same philosophy which Gambino had taught Guts when he was little, a little boy and Guts guys and gals has grown big and strong and became his own man very much like how Jill will become her own woman, a strong woman very much like Guts, her role model and inspiration, the man she looked up to. Guts and Jill guys and gals are so similar in that both of them are strugglers and survivors who fight their own battles and their own battlefields which is their lives and this is their fate guys and gals which they choose to battle against and that is their journey guys and gals, the journey of both Guts and Jill, two souls who are so similar in many ways once again in that both of them are survivors and strugglers who will continue to battle and fight against their fate and that was the first episode of this new series thank you guys and gals for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my gaming channel where i do let's play series gaming content and so much more until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara